My book is entitled uh, Gender, Race, and Nationalism in Contemporary Black Politics. And in a word, it's about backlash. And more specifically, it's about a backlash against the social movements of the 1960s and 1970s and how that backlash has taken shape around discussions about black family breakdown. And so we have seen in uh, the past three decades, especially increasingly a uh, focus on uh, female head of single parent households, uh, kind of symbol um, around the black welfare queen, uh, endangered black males. And so this book looks at how the assumptions about uh, black cultural pathology and black family breakdown has really become um, the thing that has centered our understanding of problems in black communities. So everything from crime rates to drug problems to even poverty itself really are blamed on the putative breakdown of, of black families. And so I argue that this has really been a fundamental way in which this backlash has taken shape. So we're not focused on thinking through how racism or sexism or a social inequality take shape through um, institutional forms. We're focused in on the micro-institution of the family. And so my book traces the development of this black culture pathology paradigm, as I call it. I also look at it, how it has influenced things such as the Million Man March. You know, part of what I find uh, fascinating is that we had support for the Million Man March from uh, not only black people from different class backgrounds, but also from politicians and the people that we would think would be very uh, much in opposition to black nationalist politics, and certainly Louis Farrakhan. But we can see a kind of uh, coming together, if you will, in terms of what is wrong with black America. So I look at the Million Man March. I look at how this black cultural pathology uh, paradigm has also shaped public policy. Right? If we take seriously the impact of narratives, right, in terms of social discourse, not only just in popular way, but also in terms of the production of public policy, then we can and have to understand the impact of black nationalism in legitimating and circulating particular discourses. And so I look at um, George Bush's uh, policy on faith-based initiatives and on fatherhood initiatives. I also take a look at how this black cultural pathology paradigm has really produced an environment in which black women are uh, considered or constructed as traitors, and how this um, has had a really, I think, um, profound impact in terms of, on the one hand, the production of black feminist uh, scholarship and criticism, when black feminists produce novels or other types of work that are critical of sexism in black communities, then um, those authors and those scholars are really uh, very sharply criticized. Right, we, are, we can also look at controversies around uh, the Marion Barry scandal um, or the Mel Reynolds scandal or a whole host of, of different kinds of controversies in which black men are said to be um, the special targets of racism and black women are, are fingered as being the means by which those black men are attacked. And so my, my work looks at a number of ways in which this particular paradigm has been important. Mm -hmm.